I didn't think I would be an Olympian at 20 years old. I didn't like the surf much. I was tried to do flags and sprints. I think I got my first individual medal in the boards at state champs in under 14. I just went to training every day and started to swim better and paddle my board better and it kind of just all happened from there when I was old enough to trial for the Ironwoman series. I gave that a crack and I, I snuck in. I don't know. I don't know how it happened, but it did. <laughs> For me, when my surf coach at the time, Shane Dalziel, said, Ali, come and try the kayaks at Lake Kiwana because it'll help you ski paddling for the Iron Series. I said, oh yeah, sweet, I want to be an Iron Woman, so I'm going to jump in these kayaks and help my ski paddling. Turns out I was not too bad at it and I went to nationals for the kayaks in 2013 and I made my first junior team off the back of not a lot of paddling or experience in the kayaks themselves. Rio was definitely, it was a dream and I just, I really thought Tokyo was on the cards though so I wanted to make that transition from surf to kayaks soon enough so that I'd be able to get to Tokyo. Myself and Elise Burnett, a fellow clubby from the sunny coast, put a few good races together in the 2016 season for the kayaks and found ourselves with a plane ticket to Rio. The whole teamwork and everything that you know you're with your friends and as long as you're having fun um, work together and work hard at it which I think is why our K2 uh, goes so well because we're both from surf from neighboring surf clubs just from Marichador dare I say it but um, yeah we just work hard together and we never leave any stone unturned it's a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication and I think the fun and love for sport behind that comes from nippers. I love my job and I'm so glad that I managed to get my career started um, as a firefighter as young as I did to join the service at 21. It's, it's pretty young and to be able to continue to do my sport at a professional level at the same time, the organisation is great um, with helping me out to try and get that work-life balance happening and yeah, I love my job and I think that comes from what we learnt so young in Nippers, all those CPR skills and recognising that someone might be in trouble and being able to help them and use those skills, I'm still using them today.